Hey guys and gals, let's start a new project. This is the Alpine Lodge from the Winter Village Collection by Lego Icons. This is a set number 10325, contains 1,517 bricks. And it, this set was provided by the Lego for early review, and I don't know the retail price. What I've been Googling, it's about $100. So this is essentially what we'll be building here. And in addition, it's like an outhouse and a snowmobile and all sorts of stuff. So let's take a look at what we got in the manual here. And just ignore the background noise. There's a disagreement going on right now, and I've just learned to stay out of it. So build together. So it looks like we could build up to one to two people. But it looks like somebody's going to get a bigger build than the other. <laughs> Alright, and it just jumps right on into bags one and two. Now there are ten bags in total. Let's take a look here. So it just says the same thing, just in bigger pages. And that's what we'll be doing here. Now, there's ten bags. And I'm not sure how I want to break this build down. So everything's individually bagged, which is cool. So you get one bag number one, one bag number two. So how do I propose to break in this thing down? I'm going to probably do three installments, do the do bags one through four in this installment, and then the remaining two installments do five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten. That's how I'm going to do it. Okay. And just by first impressions, this looks like a very fun set, but literally within hours of finishing up the Harry Potter installment series on both those other builds, these came in. So I got a whole, I got a whole bunch of stuff to do here. So let's pull out this. Oh, there's something I forgot to mention. I was doing the unboxing. There's a set of sh stickers that come with this, and I was really hoping this stuff would be printed. Well, that's stuff that I'll have to peel off later on goes over there and then I mean what is that like four stickers <laughs> you know, we'll put these so let's put these in the manual for safekeeping and then let's begin with bag one and I'm glad that these videos are helping you guys and gals out with your bills so you can just smell the holiday flavor out of that don't you well, if you get the set, you will. And... Let's see. So, literally within hours. <laughs> I thought I would at least have a week off from reviews. No, that didn't happen. But hopefully this set will be a lot more fun to assemble than what we've been doing before. So it looks like we're just doing accessories for bag one. So we're going to do the minifigures real quick. And I'm not going to put the helmets on them. Or you know what we can do? Well, where do I want to start with this? Well, we've already got half the figure already put together. So it looks like he's a she. It's hard to get the heads on sometimes. Well, that's a nice printing for a sweater. It'd be good for a holiday theme. I've already had my share of kind of dry sets. I'm hoping this one here will be really fun. And then we got the helmet we got to put together. Got to keep her head warm. This is like Christmas colors. <laughs> and here it is. Uh, today is, I believe, the 4th or the 5th of... Uh, I'm trying to think. The 1st was a Friday, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. 5th. Today's the 5th of... September and right now I'm taking a break from work stuff lots of stuff that I had to do a lot of stuff that I got done okay making sure you get to see everything and we're not going to worry about the turntable today uh, unless we need it I still got that Harry Potter stuff on there matter of fact I'm out of space I'm putting this stuff on display so uh, I'm starting to rip things apart 
for pieces. That's the sad thing about getting into the Lego stuff. It, it just takes up so much space. And yeah, brick separator. Yeah, we're always starting with the little tiny stuff first, nothing big. I wish they'd make these type of bricks here in the uh, dark green or earth green. I have them in reddish brown, but I you don't know how I am with that color. I still get squirmy, squirmy over it. I am looking for, for these as well, these type of limb pieces. So I'm out for a lot of parts in these. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for some of the newer stuff. Is that a dark green nose cone? It is. Let me show you here. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Uh, every time I'm in a good mood, relaxed, everybody else kind of wants to start. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I may have to muffle out some stuff here or mute some audio out if it gets pretty intense. You know what I could do, and I may just do it, I may slip some scenic sounds with this build. That means I will put a separate audio track in here. Try it out and see how it works. I'm always after these little slope pieces, so. I actually have a little Tupperware, <laughs> a Tupperware literally full of just slopes, these little one by one little cheese slopes. They're a nice little part to have. So, we'll kind of get that going here. So remember, when you're building this, you got to build two of these. Whatever you do, don't take care of elderly people. And let's start pulling these out. Those are in earth green, by the way. It's like we got four so far. Oh, we got a white one here too. Must be for the snow covered parts. Now, when I do these sets though, I always like to see what kind of unique pieces there are. Because um, you never know. All right. And then, see how Lego puts this stuff together like this. This is what I do. I kind of build things in groups. When I do tutorials, it makes it a lot easier instead of saying, okay, we're going to build four of these, and we do each step that way. Yeah, and we got two more of these we got to build probably the other way. Or a different variety of it. Okay. Find all the little... The little bits and pieces to put together the Christmas tree. It's like one of those fake trees that you get that lasts for like a hundred years or so. I have a fake tree I haven't used in years. Um, well, this year I might be the first time I'll have a tree since, man, a long time. I'll actually put the tree up. Although everybody wants the real deal. I'm like, okay, then cough up the money. <laughs> I, I got a plastic tree. I think that'll be fine. And... I think one year I did have a little tree up. It was like a like a little two foot Christmas tree, and I just had it sitting on a table, and then you had to put the gifts underneath the table. I don't. I mean, the tree I have is ten foot, and uh, those things are kind of a pain. It's pre lit. I have to string the lights up on it, and that's pretty much uh, what. You know, it was the tree was given to me, so I didn't 
you know, care. It's a nice thing. But I don't really... I mean, I hang up lights on the house. That's good enough for me. <laughs> I don't go in hanging up lights all over, you know, or, build, or putting the tree up or whatever. You know, when you're a single dude, you just don't mess with that. Except if I know I'm, I'm going to have another, uh, in case I'm going to have like a family gathering, then I'll put the tree up. But and the reason why I don't is because I have to take it down. I don't want to do that. All right. That's just a nice little spruce tree in itself. But that just looks kind of jagged at the bottom. Am I missing something? Actually, no, I'm not. So it looks like that concludes just a tree top. Nothing on the bottom. So what does that mean? You know, let me swing this over here. That means that we got to do the snowmobile and the towing thing. Okay. So, Jay, you're going to split this down into three installments. Yep, I will. Get it for my sanity. Ooh, that's a dark brown frame. I can use those. I was hoping stuff would be printed in this set, but so far, it started It started out as a 10. It's still a 10. Nothing bad has happened. So far, everything's easy to follow. The building guide's easy to follow. That kind of thing. Oh, and an update on the Michael Myers house. I haven't worked on it. I'm getting through my backlog of old tutorials in a bin that I have. So now I'm starting to, to build all these old tutorials into building guide form. So, that kind of thing. I notice I'm getting more comments on my main about, you know, my tutorials are real easy to follow. Well, there should be. I have to build them too. <laughs> So, one of the tutorials I did, I'm redoing. It was one that I built a long time ago. And I decided to just redo it. To see if I could... I watched the video on it, and I thought, man, I build so slow, I'm going to make this a better tutorial. To see if I can speed it up. So that's, that's my intent, is to speed up that tutorial. Just to see if I can do them a little faster. And Eb's like, oh, this is just dragged out so slow. So now I, I remember a lot of you guys and gals who messaged me back in the day. Jay, you need to speed these up a bit. Now I see what you mean. So yeah, I'm doing it. Remember, I'm a bit slow on certain things, but we're, we're getting to it. It's just a matter of finding the free time. And now I have the free time. So, I've almost got Halloween figured out for the year. And in the States, we have Thanksgiving, so expect a kitchen. At least something that's Thanksgiving related. So I'm going to just do a kitchen and maybe something else. I'm hoping to squeeze out a house by then. And in December, which I'm like 80% done with December. Getting close. <laughs> and I'm starting to work on next year's projects. So I'm going to try to do that. So I think I got this review thing down pack now where it's not too bad. I didn't think about using these for the skis, but I think those are new parts. I don't know. When I made my other snowmobile. Oh, that does sit pretty flat, doesn't it? Okay. I really want to see how they built those logs on the log cabin. We'll find out eventually, huh? So this is a build here. I'm going to tell you right now, I like these Winter Village collection things. This is something you don't want to rush through. So if you're a young one saying you could build this in 10 minutes, I'm going to be honest, you're probably going to screw yourself over in terms of you're not going to have a good build experience because after the build's done, that's it. This must be the back of a seat. I've been seeing a lot of these bricks with bow. So you get this set, don't rush through it. Don't think, oh, i got to finish it up and be done in a hurry. Take your time. 
I'm hoping this is going to be a true separated build. I think it is, but I don't think it's going to be truly balanced or everybody's going to be able to pitch it apart. So if you're a parent out there and you have a single child, you do the small build, let the child build the house. <laughs> and if you have two children, then it's going to be kind of hard to, to do that. Yeah. So far, I'm liking this build. It's pretty good. What I'm looking at also is colors. Is the color palette keeping my attention? And so far, it is. You know what I'm going to do? Well, they have this sitting in here, and you got to stick the handlebars in here. Now, I'm really surprised LEGO has not made one of these in a 1x2 form yet. These cheese slopes, the transparent clear ones. Why they have the 1x1s but not 1x2s and transparent clear, I don't know. Okay, well, that just fell apart, so we'll have to ding that off a little bit now. If the score, probably a 9.9. That just disintegrated when I picked that up. Jay, you're hard on grading. Yeah, I am. <laughs> when the community does that to me, I'm also hard on Lego stuff, too. Individual mocks are one thing, but this is made by... I think this is probably made by a few designers. I don't know. I don't know how many designers put it together. It didn't say in the literature. It's like this is the trailer that goes on the back. I hope this thing is not going to be stiff in that ball joint. All right. Oh, we know what we forgot to do. Put the last two on there. But I think you guys and gals are going to like what I have in store this year. Or for the remainder of the year. It's all, I'm going to tell you right now, it's all vehicles. So if you're looking for cars or anything like that for your, your city... Yeah, you're, you're in for a treat. I, I, right now, I'm literally backed into a corner. It's like, okay, i got to finish up all the vehicle t tours and stuff. I think I have three vehicles, a kitchen, and a house left to build. I mean, I'm down to that point. i got a couple other vehicles that I want to build, but they're not going to be until next year. But the vehicles that I have now that I have planned out, I can change them any time. That's why I don't leak out uh, what I'm building up next. Because sometimes I may just change my mind going, hmm, I don't want to release this right now. I have a better project to throw in there. And that's what I'm going to do. And I want to thank the, you guys and gals who have been buying my building guides. But like I have said about the building guides, if you see something you want, let me know and I'll see if I can get it done in a timely manner so you can build it like the Michael Myers house that I haven't still been getting done <laughs> I mean I'm trying to give you a, the builder a really good experience all right so this just drags on the back and unfortunately it is stiff I was hoping this would be a little more um, a little more uh, user-friendly okay so I think the tree probably gets laid in the back there we'll set that off to the side and now let's get going on I think this is the outhouse white pieces on a white table are just not of any help to me <laughs> you know, I wish I could play some holiday music right now but it's September, and it's actually in the 90s. It's actually cool. A lot of places in the country right now have been getting heat, hit with heat waves. Not out here. Usually right now, we're still in the hundreds. No, no, no not out here right now. Got some more leaf pieces. And uh, maybe that might be the end of that. All right, I had a 2 by a 1 by 2 
or one by four. I'll get it right eventually. All right. Did I misplace it? Did I put it somewhere where it's not supposed to be? Oh yes, there's that's supposed to be a tile. Well, I've already made my first mistake today. We'll just do that, then nobody will know, right? Yeah, but I'm glad now at least I show you guys the mistakes that I make. So you know not to make those same mistakes that I have done. The whole point about doing this style of video, and I can't remember your name. I'm sorry. I don't know what I did with my tablet or I'd read it off. You mentioned some that you don't. You can't find any other channels that do that, do this build stuff. The reason being is a lot of the guys and gals who are into this ambassador things, they're worrying about getting these sets done and being the first to get them done. Okay, you know. For me, I don't care if I'm first. I want to show you how to put this together, and if there's any troubles, we'll we'll work through them together. But I did get a but the same the same person who commented. She's like, I can. I can build along with you if I get this set. I'm like, sure, you can do that. And that's the whole goal is to, you know, just to kind of build along and just kind of relax, you know. Kind of just chill out and can't pick the parts off the table. <laughs> but you know, this must be the porta potty. The porta pooper. And yes, the brown's also going to make it look kind of dingy in there, too, especially the black and the hole. If you've ever stared down in one of those things while you're holding your breath, you know exactly. You can't really see anything except for a little speck of light for the exhaust on the top. Oh, wait a minute. This is a separate piece in itself. Well, jumped ahead here. And... And I think there's going to be some good building techniques in here so far. Okay, they use this to hold the roll of toilet paper. I'm just hoping to have everything completed by this year. In terms of tutorials and stuff. Okay, we use these for the panels. I'm really surprised Lego doesn't have a 4x6 flat tile yet. It just snaps right on those bricks with studs. That's starting to look like a porta potty. The ones I've always been into are always usually green or blue. You have to find them in brown. some of the old Victorian homes they had the uh, outhouse outside it's not like today where we have the bathrooms in the house no they didn't have them back then All right, that goes there and we got to put our first sticker on and unfortunately, we got to face this nice reddish brown door. So I'll put it on the side with the numbers, so we'll remove that later on. All right. Wow, that's a, kind of a soft plastic there. At least it's not brittle. Okay, we need to find a little half moon here. Remember, I put the stickers in here for safekeeping. Yeah, so if you get your Lego sets and they got that little. QR code in the corner, scan those. And then you can rack up your VIP points. So just register your sets. And boy, I got that only on a little crooked, but look at the different shades in that brown there. This is why I despise stickers. I'd rather have that printed on the door. Although I wouldn't be able to use the door for anything else. It would be kind of cool. Let's see here. Yeah, it's pretty dark in there, huh? Just like a real one. You walk in there and close the door and you hold your breath. <laughs> All right.
We need the dark brown, not the green. I can see this being a nice holiday build for the winter months. Not so much like right now. It's kind of... It's still summer when I'm technically filming this. So it's not, not working to bring out the holiday cheer. But it is... Um, it is what it is. But I think whoever gets the set so far, you're going to be in for a good build. Just be careful with that snowmobile, but... You're not going to be uh, shortchanging yourself here. And that's how it's supposed to be. Once you learn snot methods like this, it's not too bad building this stuff with the plates and stuff on the side. And especially for you guys and gals who are short on bricks, this is the next best thing. Especially if you want to add a little more texture to your walls, like paneling and stuff, wall paneling. I think this set here is going to have a lot of potential. You remember the Michael Myers house with the siding? They had a lot of snot method to put the siding on the house. And that's the, uh, the whole goal about it is to see you can do stuff like this. You can't do that with regular bricks real easily. Should have put that tile down there when we were building the rest of that. I've been getting requests for doing more brick explorations on sets. And some of these sets, some people have been recommending I don't have in my inventory. And I'm like, well, if I don't, if Lego doesn't send it to me or if it's a set that I'm not interested in, I won't buy it. I'm sorry, but... I want to use the funding for buying bricks, you know, for mocks and stuff. I don't want to buy a set where I'm only using about 5% of it. And that looks like that's about it with this right here. So that's the outhouse. So we got a bunch of tree parts, huh? Well, we're going to get ready to do the tree now. Oh, I thought that was reddish brown. That would have been cool. Oh, wait a minute. Don't stick that in there yet. So these go upside down. I think this goes in here. So this is a good idea if you want to build some nice trees. Matter of fact, these would make great trees for like a, a long of a driveway on a house or something, too. I don't think it's really going to matter which way that these go, huh? I think it went like this here. And then we just kind of feed these down here. See, you can't flick these branches off. That's what I'm looking at. When you're building trees, you shouldn't have to flick your branches off. Okay, we need to put five of these on here. Okay, I just noticed this is a sub-step. Not dubstep, substep. There we go. A happy little tree. Oh, it looks like a flower that way, huh? Then we use the snow covered ones. So, yes, I am going to end up buying some more of these here. Now, Here's the deal. If you want to make this look rugged, don't line them up. Lego kind of shows you to do that. Don't ever line this stuff up. I kid you not. You won't be happy with the results. Just kind of randomize them a little bit. Because we look at trees, they're not perfect. So just kind of... One way to tell, though, and I'll show you here. You want to make them look rugged, look straight down like this. See, I have all that filled in. If I see a spot like right here, I can tweak that a little bit and just kind of move things around and make it fill in a bit more. You don't have to do that, but it's just better to do that anyways. See, I'm giving you building tips too. Some some YouTubers charge you for that. You got to pay for their memberships to get in to get those things. Here, I give them to you for free. 
and the tree goes by the outhouse. Why is that tree extra green? Well, now we know. See, it's kind of binding here. So what I'm going to do is kind of move some branches around here. To kind of get it in right in between there. There you go. Hey, at least we can pretend that this is snow right here, huh? At least the white table does kind of give to that effect. And after all that, I mean, there's just a significant amount of parts. or just one of each. And that is what we have remaining for bag one. Let's move on to bag two. And yeah, oh. Oh, I see, I see a part on the manual I may want to get a hold of here, huh? Let's see here. And it's on a minifigure, too, which is very rare. Ooh, I like these. They're like an opaque, but they have that blue... Uh, so they're probably going to use these for the, uh, the ice. And these uh, feel like they're very rigid plastic. Matter of fact, there's only three in there? Well, that's not cool. I could have used four of those. Those make good for water for cool, too. Not that color, but... Okay. Rip all that open. Let's do the figure here. This looks like this young man... Whoa. Parts on the menu. Looks like this young man here is playing ice hockey. All right. And... Yes, a K-pop wig. It's what they call more an off-center boy's hair. Uh, <laughs> yes, I've had that too. There's some of those leaf pieces, a dark green spruce tree. We can use those for other builds as well. And let's get on the build. Now, I know a lot of people don't care much for these figures because they're very generic, but that's why I like them. Because they're generic. I can put them in any build if I choose. So this young man here's got a scarf. Well, obviously he has braces and freckles. Well, Lego, I would have gave this kid a perm and called it a day. He would have really looked good with the perm. I think because of the piece in the back, but there you go. And here's the hockey puck here. And then we're looking for the hockey stick. So, ice hockey. <laughs> I still remember back in high school, they wanted us to play hockey. A lot of us were trying to convince our coach to let us bring rollerblades to school. Because playing rollerblades, using rollerblades, playing hockey. Especially street hockey is pretty good. You can get there quicker instead of running and tripping over yourself. So there's that young man. He's done. Maybe that's a gal. It's got a pink beanie. I don't think I have that. I don't think I have this. Okay, it's a slouchy beanie. And, you know, like a light purple. So what you do is you have to shave your head off, kids, in order to put the beanie on. You have to be careful with that. This looks like we're building the ice skating rink this time. Okay, make sure we're recording here. I cleaned off the cameras and everything too, so we're good. All right. And yeah, I know these sets are kind of small for some builders, including myself, but there's a lot of good building techniques in these, so always pay attention when you're building. And where a lot of my ideas come from is either from my imagination or sets like this. So, you know. In fact, I should have just went straight down, but a lot of the stuff is three-dimensional here. This is kind of kind of flimsy right now, so you gotta be kind of careful with it. Yeah, so bag two is is majority of its white parts. That's just a dark stone gray chain. I need the other one here. Alright, so when you're building this, I think you're going to have to leave this on a 
a flat surface. The reason being is, is we're going to have to attach this here. Like this. So I think the best thing to do is to build it like that. These are kind of cool, actually. Matter of fact, they look like they're polarized. Yeah, they are kind of polarized. Huh. It's kind of odd. Just take a pair of polarized sunglasses and rotate them around. You'll probably be able to see a little more clearly what I'm talking about. Or, of course, you can't do it on... On the video, I'd have to do it in person, but right now I'm farming a level in Minecraft, <laughs> and I got those stupid phantoms that are trying to put me to sleep, put me in my bed, and I'm like, well, I don't have a bed at this location right now, so I have to shear some sheep but I, but the bedroom doesn't even have walls yet so so they did use that purple glare on the manual there to show it looks like ice is what it is which is kind of cool you want to build something a lot more larger than that you're going to need a bigger one And I know Lego watches these and stuff like that, but these type of sets here are the ones that I prefer the most on. Now, I had a question asked, why do I accept the Harry Potter sets if I'm not interested in the theme? The old style Harry Potter sets were really fun to put together. This new stuff, not so much. You know? But I think it was just the size of that one set that kind of did it there. So that was one of those things that I kind of like yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and now it's kind of how it is. So yeah, when you're building this, just slide the pieces on a flat surface like this. Don't hold it like this because it's kind of flimsy. So I'm just going to recommend that you do it like what I'm doing here. Just slide the parts in on the table. We used gray here. And now we're switching to white. Wouldn't it have just been easier, Lego, to use strictly white throughout the whole thing? I, I, I don't get it. Am I seeing any unique pieces in this set? Just a handful of them? Oh, $100. Okay, well, we got, the, we got plenty of those. Like the leaf pieces, that K-pop wig, this little chain. Uh, but there's not a whole lot I see so far, but we're only in bag two right now. I'm trying to find a one by two plate in this mess. But yeah. Place that right there. So this is obviously the ice skating rink. See that blue in there. I'm trying to see if I can get that polarized effect in there. But so far, this is a very enjoyable build. I just can't wait to get to the log cabin, but you know, we gotta you gotta have your vegetables before your dessert. I know one thing I gotta do is pull the ABS module out of my pickup. The anti-lock brake system is not really 
functioning as it should. And I have a feeling it's either a bad grounding connection or the module's bad, usually due to cold solder joints. So I have to get the module out of the car, open up the, the container, the little clamshell, go in and reflow all the solder joints and then put it back together, put it in the car and hopefully everything works. Something's 30 years old. Wasn't never meant to last that long. Yeah. Just have to learn how to do it. So I guess we got a little spot there. Looks like it's been open. Yes, I'm a man of many trades. <laughs> I don't do just Lego folks. Uh, I get that question. Oh, you do other things? I'm like, yeah, I do a lot of other stuff. Oh, I always figure you just do Lego and, and that's it. I'm like, no, I do a lot of other stuff. I'm a do-it-yourselfer and just do a lot of reading, a lot of research, and that's how I learn. I like doing Lego. Do a lot of research. You practice. You never, you know, it's like, well, Jay, I'm not good at mock building. Whoops, I don't want to move those over there. But I'm not good at mock building. What do I do? I'm like, just practice. It's not going to come to you naturally. You're just going to have to learn how to do it. Yeah, but I want to learn how to do it now. I'm like, well, yeah, you just do what I'm doing. You just doodle. You just doodle around. Just place pieces on until it looks like something you want to. Whoops, that didn't go there. Well, I'm going to probably regret it. No, I don't. Wait a minute. Oh, it does go there. My bad. You just have to practice. That's the only thing I can tell you is practice. On practice makes perfect. We've heard that before. Just take your time. Learn how to how to build stuff. Just you know. And then we need a four. Yeah. So far, I mean skate around in there like a little frozen pond we can take that out and make that into a nice little fish pond too the reason why i'm doing bags one through four now is because there's an offset in here because i'm gonna if this had nine bags i'd evenly do them into three so right right now i'm gonna focus on just doing bags one through four in this installment and then the next ones will probably be a little shorter. But remember, the third installment, we're going to do the rough review, and then I'm going to do the final tour. So I try to give myself some time. I'm starting to get reviews down pat on how fast I want to build them, too. So like I said, when you, if you get into this program, you got to make sure you have all your... you got to make sure you have everything down to the T in terms of how you want to schedule things out, make sure you give yourself enough time, you know, for editing and processing and stuff like that. I got that already figured out now. But that Harry Potter set that had 10 installments, that did it for me there. <laughs> it just would not end. I was like, oh, but I'm glad I got it done because editing the same video, you know, like two or three installments is one thing, but doing a marathon is a whole nother beast. And let me get that real quick. It's always the small things that want to run away here from you. Uh, looks like that's done there. In fact, last night was the first night I slept good in a long time. I went to bed, and matter of fact, I just completely faint and just passed out. I was like, oh, I need to sleep. Nobody bother me. And then heard the alarm going off for work, and I thought, well, I looked at the thing, I thought, man, I slept pretty good. I'm not drowsy or anything. So, yeah, get your seven hours of sleep. Anything more than that probably make me feel really bad, but Wait a minute, let me look here. 
they have this here and then they show this piece right here oh yeah that's right there it's in the correct area I was looking at the manual thinking well I have a little space there well yeah it's right there it's kind of invisible so somebody will probably get stuck there too like I just like I had to second guess it so it's like well, where does that go exactly I'd ask how many of you are getting ready for winter, but or getting ready for it. <laughs> I know most people don't. Well, Jay, you're nuts. You take off during the winter months? Yeah, that's the fun part. I don't have to sweat, and I can get all my stuff. Fun. St I can do all the outdoor stuff when it's cool outside. In the desert, that's what you do. <laughs> you don't do your hard work in the summer. All right. That is wrong supposed to be right there even with this corner here we haven't even hit any of these teeth pieces yet I'm starting to just I'm trying to separate some parts here because I'm having a hard time trying to find some stuff on the workbench That's a telltale sign that I need to really get my act together, huh? I mean, one more of those bricks with bow. One by one brick with bow. And just kind of... There we go. We're about 80% done with this building guide. Okay. Now, <laughs> I have a friend of mine that's kind of interested in some of these winter village sets i think he's gonna like this once it's released i always like these style of sets why i don't know it's just something about the winter village theme i have one of the very first ones that came out and i thought that was the most enjoyable build i ever put together and then i got the bakery I think I got a few others, and that was it. And so far, I've been very pleased with the Winter Village theme. Uh, they're moderately priced; they're not you're not getting ripped off. Like if this one is truly a hundred dollars for what you're getting, we might be in for a really good treat here. Versus something that's going to be kind of like, oh, I got to get it done in a hurry. But I'm looking for quality of build here must be footprints or hoof prints we don't know don't want to track don't want to track snow in the house you got to wipe it off on the dock huh I still haven't even placed a parts order yet for anything that I need. You know, it's kind of to the point where I'm looking at thinking, do I really need any more parts? <laughs> and yes, even with the stuff that Lego sends me for review, I still need to buy parts. But remember, though, a lot of the parts that I need are very basic stuff. A lot of these newer sets, they don't have a lot like this. It's dark orange. This is a basic 2x6 plate, just in a special color, so I'm looking for that. Palisade bricks are becoming common, very basic part now. Uh, maybe, to, maybe to you guys and gals, maybe some of these pieces are very rare. But for someone like myself, you know, some of these are pretty common. Now, don't expect me to use some really rare, obscured parts in a build. You know, I'm trying to keep everything to where you guys and gals can build along without having to think, well, I don't want to build one of Jay's tutorials. He has all these really weird parts. And I'm inclined to get some of these dark or earth green spruce trees. I have them in the dark green, but not the, not the earth green. So I may have to incline to get one. Must be a little snowman here. Huh? 
I gotta pay? There's a hundred dollars right here. Just laying on the counter. We have to pay to go in this little pond? Wow, that's not even a... Maybe it's an ice skate rental. We don't know. It's got a couple of booths. Maybe we're selling oranges or something in the winter. Matter of fact, it's getting kind of toasty in here. Oh yeah, we got ice skates. So these parts are loose. I kind of wish there was a cover to put on those to keep those from moving around. You do have one extra skate. And now we're going to build our little tree here with the little candlesticks. Not too bad, huh? Like I said, you don't have to copy when Lego doesn't really show you where these all go. So to copy exactly what they're doing here is almost impossible. Unless you have the 3D manual if you're really inclined to be that picky. But it's a tree. Just throw them in and make sure all the holes are filled in and just, you know, try not to make it so uniform where it looks like a, a plastic tree growing out of the ground. Yeah, we need five of those. Something like that. I'm going to just kind of make these things kind of random a bit here. Like a little star. If you look straight down, it looks like a star. Kind of makes everything kind of rough and jagged. I was like, what would you use the white ones for? Now we know why is because of the, uh, the snow covered. In fact, I got a couple of tree projects I'd like to build this year, too, so I may be doing some of those for... Usually I do foliage stuff in spring and summer, or in springtime. I try not to do foliage stuff during the winter because it doesn't really make any sense. I try to make everything in the themes. There you go. And this tree goes right here and that right there. I feel like that's going to get whacked off there. I think that's it. Yep. So pretty much that's what you have. And just that and alone is a nice little set there. So imagine if we just did this as a set would have been fine. And that's what we have remaining for bag two. Okay, so we're going to be moving on to bag two. And I'm going to slide all this over to the side right now. because I need to use the turntable for this one here. And I gotta find the manual. That looks like that's gonna be interesting. I wanna see how they did the logs on this. So we'll be seeing that together. And build together. Uh, Lego or anybody else, I really encourage this right here. Why? I could build this with a partner. But as you can see though, Person A is going to be able to do bags 1 and 2, and person B is going to do bags 3 through 10. So somebody's obviously not going to have a good build experience in here. Check into this cozy little alpine lodge for an imaginary getaway. Gather around the fireplace with your favorite people and celebrate the charm of fun of a snowy holiday season. Snowy? Well, I don't know. I go outside. Even in Christmas time, it's in the 70s out here. <laughs> Want to share this LEGO Winter Village Collection experience with a loved one? With separate building instructions, you can build and pret pretend ski together or see who wins minifigure snowball fight. Now, well, well, out here we throw sand balls and mud balls. Well, that's if it rains. Okay. So it looks like bags 3, 4, and 5 are doing this. Now, I'm not going to attempt to do bags 3, 4, and 5 in one sitting. 
I might. We'll see. If I do this in two installments, it's going to be they're going to be over two hours. So I just had bag four here. Here's three. That's big stuff. Let's see if I can slide that over without everything crunching and breaking. Well, Jay, if your counter is that small, why don't you just get a bigger workbench? Well, that's easier said than done. My whole intent was to convert a room for that, but that room now has become a storage area more than anything else. Not by choice either. Okay. Yeah, I may have to pull some of that stuff off over there. So it looks like the remainder of the bill we're going to be doing stuff on the turn table. I may have to uh, raise the camera up a bit more here because it's kind of, well, yeah, I may have to, but we're going to be building up, so maybe I need to just do focus on that. Now, we got the minifigure here. I'm not going to worry about him right now, so I'm just going to set his parts off to the side as we find them. He's very generic, so I could find him real easily. And now let's begin with this one here. Let's begin with bag three. Now, um, we're building upside down for a while. And... I'll tell you, now you get a lot of profile bricks in here. The ones that look like brick. So far, except for the dark brown frames, window frames I can always use too. But I'm not really seeing a whole lot in there. One of these type of hats that older gentlemen wear. Sorry, I'm into fitted. <laughs> I, I don't wear those. Even at my age, I don't like having that. You know, so there's guys my age that literally will dress like they're in their 80s, and I'm like, I'm not that old. You know, not yet anyways. Okay. I'm not trying to offend anybody here, but it's just, it's just not my fashion sense thing. And I'm not even into fashion at all. All right. When do we get to the big stuff, huh? We're doing bases right now. Alright. Okay, we flip it over. We got a lot of big plates right now, so I'm trying to uh, get rid of as much of these as I can. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I think this is meant to hang over. There we go. Okay, it looks like the pitcher. Flip it over like a pancake. <laughs> you know, flip it over, and then we got to do some more here. Now, here's the thing when I was doing the Michael Myers house, there was a lot of this flipping, doing the base. Any type of house that you build, or I build, or it doesn't matter who builds it, you're going to be doing a lot of flipping when you're building freehand bases like this. So, and I thought, man, I feel like I'm just doing excessive flipping. So I looked at another Lego guide. They do a lot of it, too. So you try not to flip so many times. You try to set your steps up in such a way that you don't have to do as many flips. Once the base is built, I'm sure this is going to be pretty strong. Hopefully, it should be. At least we're getting rid of all the plates. And then in the next installment, we'll do that. We'll see if we could do maybe two installments on this. I don't know yet. This may be a build that I kind of get too wrapped up in here. Flip it over again. And then we start sticking the plates on here. So this must be the floor. Now, just by looking at the box on this, it's going to be an open back set, what I'm gathering. So it's not going to be something you could drop in your city. You'll have to probably finish it up on your own. 
And guess what, folks? We have to flip it over again. And yes, building bases, even if it's in my own builds, are boring. I kid you not. Building bases like this, they're not exciting. It's when you get to put the parts on the top that's the fun part. But right now, you got to have your vegetables before you get your dessert. And I don't have these windows in white, so there we go. I've already had a few of these break that are in the pearl gold, so i got to be careful with those. And then that's it for those there. Okay, and I think we're done with flipping it over, and that's your base plate there for your house. Lego, I found this out to be very bad, but don't use white arrows like that on there. You see how much that's invisible right there. You're a, you're a toy company. Put some color in these manuals, especially with the arrows. I do that with mine just to make it a little more exciting, a little more colorful. All right, so we're going to be working in this corner here. And I'm already getting kind of confused, so let's break it down here. I'm looking for a 1x2 modified plate with two studs. Just find a place and start. That's probably the easiest way to do is just find a, a place and then work our way out this way here. Oh, we've got a little bit of a footing erosion there, huh? That's the fireplace. Obviously, the house is going to sink and fall in with it. Maybe there's a sinkhole there we don't know about. Oh, just imagine building this and putting this in my spruce with a bunch of my spruce trees around it. I bet this will look really good. Okay, I'm, I'm jumping ahead here. I keep looking at step number 11 to finish up 10 first. And yes, the humidity's been like in the 70s and 80s as well out here. It's been very hot and muggy and sticky. But I'll tell you, the grass is sure green outside. Skip a stud there. almost put it up against that, so be careful. You may do the same boo-boo I almost did. So step 10's got a lot of parts. Just take your time and just check your work as you go. That's probably the only suggestion. Now we're ready for 11. That's the only suggestion I can give is just take your time. This is not a set you want to rush through by any means. I know there's going to be a young one out there who will get this done in five minutes and be done with it. You know, I kind of want to enjoy this build today. Very rarely I'll get a set that looks really good on the box. And it's keeping my interest. <laughs> you know? I'm, I like building houses and buildings and stuff. So for me, this is a treat. And this was one of the sets I did not know I was getting in terms of info. They just said you're going to get set so-and-so, have fun. And you didn't know what it was, but you just said okay. And then that's what it is. This is supposed to be a castle or a thing. It looks like we're building a castle here. I thought this was a front door or something, but maybe not. Well, there's a tile that goes here. Oh, yes, we got to have those slippery tiles, right? So. When you walk outside, your minifigure will slip and fall, fall into the porta potty. <laughs> and go, hey! Go head first inside the toilet. I'm looking for a dark stone gray one by one brick. It seemed like I cannot find in this mess. Well, that fell down in the void. Let me go get that. Oh, I see it. 
All right, so when we can't find a piece, let's start pulling out all the dark gray. Oh, I see the minifigure legs finally. So we could put this guy together real quick, huh? So if you're like me, you can't find a certain piece, start pulling things out. Let me make sure that is the right color of inch. Yes, it is. It's a one by one. If it's missing, I may have to check the bags or it could be on the floor. But no, here it is. See, digging it through, we found it eventually. In fact, I need to label these as tips and tricks to build these sets, too. Instead of just me uh, doing the speed builds for you. Jay, not a lot of people do these. Why? You see how slow it takes me to build this, huh? I mean, I'm on a deadline. The set's not due for, th I think, three or four weeks. So I can slow down and take my time. Unless I get wrapped up into the build, if it's that good. And so far, like right now, we're in bag three, and it's still holding my interest pretty strong. So it's, it's not some build. It was just like the Hogwarts Castle and Grounds. It kept my interest until it got redundant. So far, we're not redundant. It's got tons of color. And this is not colorful yet, but we're going to get there. And, you know. And you know how advanced this is? They give you five to six pieces per part list. <laughs> yeah, this is not... I don't know what the age range of this set is. I don't even have the box near me. I'm assuming probably for uh, probably 15 years of age and up. But of course, anybody at any age can build. Just discipline. Wait, uh-oh. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh. That doesn't go in there. One of these do. Got a turntable. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm just doing it like I normally do. Just drag the build around like a caveman. I gotta use the turntable and make it professional. Yeah, but get a turntable. Building this stuff is a lot easier because you could do this. I like this dark red. It always reminds me of a Christmas red or brick red. Pretty good. Next step, please. <laughs> so, Jay, you just don't get to pick the sets you want? Not really. I get to pick the themes that I'm interested in, but I don't. They, they don't just say, hey, we got a set here. Would you be interested? They'll just say, hey, we have set number. We accept the offer, and you don't know what it is until you accept it, and you get it, you get it to your... You get your set delivered to your house or wherever you're at. Next thing you're like, oh... I gotta build this real quick. <laughs> yeah, I may just come in and do all the just do bags one through five and get the Get this done here, huh? I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't really thought about it. it. gives me time to think while I'm building and talking to you guys and gals. Still, I'm kind of torn. Do I want to stop at four or do I just continue on with bag five? And, you know, I don't want to get burned out of the set. Okay, step 16. Some of those didn't want to go down. Of 
Wago, why don't you bring out a cobblestone textured brick, huh? That would be so cool, especially for rock fireplaces and stuff. I've got a couple of builds I want to use with rock facades. <laughs> like, just make a profile brick, but instead of having the brick, just have cobblestone that could be repeated. Like a cobblestone brick. Pretty cool. Will they listen to us? Probably not. Like, see how this is textured? Just make a pattern that you can use for cobblestone. Be really cool. Or just have cobblestone on one side, or two cob different faces of cobblestone that are compatible with one another, and you can rotate and just change the, the rock layouts a bit. Or better yet, just make a profile brick with the corners rounded around the edges and make them into, like, masonry bricks. All right. Nice, lovely green door. And then we stick the door in here. And there's a doorknob. Well, that's kind of unusual. They use a, a pie piece for that. I guess to give it the clearance needed to do that, huh? I, I find that kind of tacky, but... And then the door sits in here. So far it's looking more like a, like a medieval castle than anything else. kind of hard to put in there with big hands. <laughs> We've got a little welcome mat here. Just make sure your door opens up. See, I can't open up the door. I got the door in backwards. So I think the door is supposed to be like that. Now it opens up on the inside. That's how doors usually open up out here in the States. So now... camera's already getting hot. Let me do this real quick here. All right. Maybe some kind of a counter or something. We got some windows to put in here. You know, Lego, if you can pull it off, put some stained glass in those. It would be so cool. <laughs> I always see these kind of like, there's a few houses in my area that still have these style of windows. Some of them have the stained glass effect on them, which is really cool. Although that makes the house, the interior is a little bit darker. And, you know, it really makes it look old, but still those are always kind of cool. In terms of, you know... My neighbor's got something like that when the morning sun comes in. She's got that whole rainbow effect in her house, which is so cool. And I'm like, oh, I'd like to get some of that. But sadly, there's, there's, I only have one set of windows in this house that have that, but they're not energy efficient anymore. Why didn't it make the whole facade a log cabin? You know, instead of just kind of doing the stone below it. Uh, that doesn't go there. That does, though. So far, it's pretty good. Uh, you know what I forgot to do? Put something here. Supposed to be a tan tile. There it is. A, a sand yellow tile. Okay. Turn that around. And then now we're going to put this guy together real quick here. 
get him done since he found all his parts. So if you don't want to spend a whole lot of time putting together figures, just save them for last. And there you go, that's what he looks like. Okay. Okay. Pretty soon you'll be able to build my 1960s home too. A lot of these building guy, building ideas I see in here look pretty familiar, and I'll show you here in a second. This one being is the shutters. You remember the 1960s home that I built? That was my childhood home growing up, and it had shutters, something like this on the front. So. Uh, Maybe Lego copy that ID from me, I don't know. We don't have shutters like that, so this is the next best thing. Okay. Hmm. So this is a little planner window here. That's pretty, huh? That's some color to that. So far, I am pleased with this set. Did I even put that in there right, or did I not? There we go. All right, now we got to add some of the snow facade at the bottom here. One stud there? Yes, I do. Always check your work. You don't want to do this stuff like I do sometimes and have to do it five or six times. I got some stone there. It doesn't have snow on it. What a waste. Okay. And then we have the pooper scooper. It goes right here. Or the the snow -a scooper. I've got to make a couple lanterns here. Okay, Lego does what I do here too, and I'll show you here in the manual. See, I kind of learned from Lego in terms of the building guides. I'm assuming that's probably one to one. That's pretty helpful. So. Lego has a little more experience in writing up building guides than I do. I'm still learning. So I try to keep my building guides the same quality as Lego does. So when you get the build, you know you're going to get a good build experience. You know, I don't want you to uh, get some sloppy, sloppy build. I'm trying to get these centered up right. Then they stick a stud on the top like this. And they stick a little dome piece on the tops. These are like little fancy outdoor lights. Pretty cool. Especially when you can't pick the stuff up with your hands. Oh, let's put this crate over here too. This is in the same step, step number 23. Okay, then these here go into the clips. Like that. Well, one of these hangs down a bit more than it should. So we'll readjust it real quick. Why? Because I don't want to do it twice. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this right now. Try it again. There we go. Well, close enough for me. 
as my hands are already getting torn up here. All right. And that's what we have remaining for bag three. And so far, we're building the structures. That's pretty good. All right, well, four doesn't look too exciting. It's like it's just dark gray bricks. All right. So what does that mean? Well, we'll just have to wait it out. Well, no, there's some color in here. Maybe this is the fireplace after all. Matter of fact, I may want to get a little close on this set here. So I'm going to see if we can uh, kind of get a little more up close and personal with the build. And then, yeah, you, you will never find this on any other channel because, like I said, I don't like to script these things. Well, Pops, you've been sitting down. Here, you need a break. We're going to have you sit right here. Put your hands in your lap, and you can just sit right there until we need to move you. And we're going to be focusing in this area right here. I need this in brick yellow, Lego. Where is it? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I need that brick separator. I'm using it for the camera. Yeah, I keep a stack of these nearby. If you put this in here, um, leave a stud right here. We got to put the mud inside the house. Got to make it extra muddy, right? One of these, we'll face it backwards. Yeah, I may shoot to do bags one through five. I think this is going to be a, such a fun build, I don't want to stop. <laughs> All right, so this must be a, I'm looking for a round brick, so this must be the corner fireplace. Oh, I had the box right in front of me all this time. This is an 18 plus set. Yeah, I kind of figured now. I thought this has got to be for 16 years of age and up. So I'm sorry if you're 17 and under, this may be too advanced. <laughs> That's the Lego standards, though. Hmm? It shows it on here. Maybe it goes like that. Okay, I thought it'd sit there, but there's a little gap in there. What do we do about that, huh? I mean, you got a gap in there. I know when I get done with doing a couple bags, run some more work through the computer real quick, then I gotta take a look at a client's television. And somebody asked me, do I fix flat screens? I'm like, it depends on you meet the term fix. So, I'll be doing that here in a, in, a, in a little bit. And of course, when they bring this TV to me, it doesn't have a stand. I have a stand that I use for uh, attaching flat screens too while I'm working on them. And, yeah. <laughs> I asked the guy if he had a stand, though. I said, okay. I said, I have to charge your rental fees for one. I set the TV on, and he kind of looked at me strange. I'm thinking, well, if I have to dig my stand out, then yes, so be it. There's three, so I think they're going right behind here. Probably going to attach some flames in here. have any of these in orange one by two flat tiles that are transparent 
orange. Well, those are kind of hard to get in there. Have little fingers, you could do that, but no, I don't, <laughs> sadly. Yeah, so we're focusing right now, so far, just on the fireplace. I think that's what bag three does. There's the fireplace. Oh, and when I get these done, I'll have to, when I index the videos, you'll know exactly what I'm working on. When I build this stuff, I really don't know. All right, we got to make six of these little flamethrower things. So stick those in there. Okay, so you just better to have the flames running like this, so the flat side is facing this way. Little candle pieces and stuff. Pretty cool little little part. Now I don't want to make my flames pretty. I want to make them more little random, so I'm just placing them in there. I'm not going to get too picky on it. Building fireplaces are always cool to do. Most of us have one in our house. I have one, but where I'm at, they pretty much have banned them now. Since they're a pollutants. It's not gas, it's full wood burning. Matter of fact, you can't even buy a house anymore here in the States with a wood burning fireplace. They have the fake fiber optic things or the gas. Well, now they're trying to get rid of the gas ones now, so I want you to get fiber optic lighting ones. Or it just plays a sound, it sounds like you're hearing crackling wood. <laughs> I may as well just play a Yule Log video and call it a day. <laughs> you know, play, they got, I got one on YouTube. I even see some other ones, too. I'll play a bunch of Yule Log videos. And if you ever watch my Scenic channel, I have a Yule Log video about an hour long. I recorded it because they said they were banning wood-burning fireplaces, and I thought, well, I may as well just enjoy it. It was a rainy day that day when I filmed it, too. And sadly... A year later, and they're like, well, we're going to start restricting you on how much you can use your gas or your electric or wood burning. And then it got to the point where when it becomes uh, the winter months, almost every day they just restrict you and not, you can't burn it. And they could either give you a stern warning all the way up to a very hefty fine, and it's not worth dealing with them. I don't want to go in a full-blown rant mode on that. They say it's also due to asthma or something like that. Kids with the asthma. And I'm thinking I have asthma, but it's not like it's... Uh, this is not causing it. My asthma is due to uh, pollen. And as much as I love sleeping with the windows open, I can't anymore. But since I've been doing it with the air purifier... Well... I very seldom ever use my inhaler anymore. I used to use my inhaler at least once a day. Now, I got my asthma under control where I only use it probably if I'm if I'm unlucky, maybe three or four times a month. An inhaler may last me a year or two. So, just listen to your doctors. I mean, they know more than I do. I didn't go to school for all that. I went to school for computer programming. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so bag three is just kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of depressing because all you're doing is, uh, 
you just do messing with gray mostly. So if you're not a fan of the gray color, you're just going to have to deal with it. I want to get to the log part, but I think that'll be the second installment. There's a light brick. I thought it would go in here, but it may steal. It may shine down on those logs, too. We don't know yet. Yeah, there's a buddy of mine though. He's pretty much owns all these sets. He tries to collect them up. He's got one heck of a winter village theme. So I think once uh, this has been released, I'm gonna be like, dude, save your coins. You're not gonna regret this build at all. We gotta make one of these goes over here. Yeah, this one page or step 34, you have, well, I can't get any closer to it, but you have three call outs that you gotta do. <laughs> so step 34 may take you some time to complete the build. Just take your time, take a few breathers and all that stuff. I'm gonna order some more of these leaf pieces. They do have them in the the earth green color, I'm going to order a bunch more. Alright. And we put some the little, I guess these are supposed to be holly berries. Oh, that's kind of pretty. It's like something you would see in a uh, traditional log cabin. Yeah, so far I'm pleased. I'm not getting bored. This is very interesting. Oh, you want to roll off, huh? Oh, I hear the oh, iPad going off. I gotta go see what it is here. Whooper Spotlight Hour starts tonight. Earn twice XP for evolving Pokemon. Oh, okay. Well, I got a farm ready to go just for that. <laughs> gotta love video games. You gotta farm. Okay. And yes, I'm one of those guys who plays that too. It's a good little walking companion. Take my time and take a stroll somewhere until it gets cooler. In fact, they enabled routes so I can create routes. And I've only done a handful of them. It got too hot and I just thought, no, it ain't worth my time. I was the only one at, at the time that actually had access to it. So I'm like, guys, I can't do it anymore. It's getting, it's just too hot outside. But they have to be interesting routes. They can't be something boring. If it's something I wouldn't even walk, then there's no point. And... Does that just go even right there? Yeah. You notice it was crooked. I just tacked it in there. wasn't sure. And that's it for those. You know, I hope those were dark gray studs we were supposed to put in that one step. 
I'm going to look here real quick just to be sure. Okay, I'm glad now I checked. Right here, those are not supposed to be black. So I'm going to peel that off there. Well, that shit fell behind the couch, and I am going to have to dig it out. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I hope I have a spare whatever it was. Um, no, this is my mistake, so I'm not going to ding Leo for that one. But to get that piece out is going to be another chore. So i got to find out what flew. Oh, it's a profile brick. Well, let me go get one. Hold on. Well, apparently this dark stone gray, this profile brick, this is not a common color that I have. <laughs> so I'll have to fish that out of there. But that's my bad. Okay. Sometimes you just don't know the colors in here, too. Especially when you're doing, when they have studs in three different colors, you're going to get confused. I mean, there's only so much Lego can do about producing this. So I can't get mad at them for that. At the fireplace poker. That's why I said I wanted to check that to be sure. All right, looks like we're ready to go on this now. I about don't want to dig everything out right now to get that part. The reason being is I have to move all this out of the way to get to it. And I don't want to spend like 20 minutes when I rather want to build. So we'll get that later. Does that go right there? Goes right here. Now, I think this is bag four. I've already lost track of what bag I'm in. Let me go back and look in the manual here. Yeah, we're in four. <laughs> wow, I'm so wrapped up into this build, I don't even know what bag I'm in, which is good. You know, we don't want to get bored with it. stuff here and don't forget the one by one brick there okay and then we got to build something above the door here um I thought I could build it on location. No, we can't. Kind of confused here. Okay. Start with that one. You're going to need to go alternating here. Do that. Sometimes the manual I, I, I have to interpret, so even... I need to get these type of pieces here in different colors, because... This is a very useful part if you can find it. It'd be good for, whoops, it didn't go there. It'd be good for making vehicles, for going around wheel wells. And this is pretty brittle right now, so. I think we can just set this on top right here. So I'm just gonna set this on here now. The reason being is it'd be easier to work on it while it's on the building than not. So we're going to put that there. You don't have to do that. I'm doing it, but you don't have to do that. Now, I think the best thing I'm going to do is stop at bag five. I think I'm just going through with it. And the reason being, okay, let's do it like this. They asked me to put these on here, my fingers are too big. I'm just gonna back butter these and just stick them in like this. This is a lot easier, okay.
got that one there. What I should have done is have us do a sub-step like this. And then that way. There we go. And then that's just it above the door. And we're not done yet. <laughs> we got to do more of these too. I think it's just two of them. Let's do one of them now. I'm trying to get everything in frame. My apologies if it's kind of out of frame here. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to we're going to back butter one of these here. And then I'm going to stick it on here. I'm just showing you different methods. If you have big fingers like me, you don't want to have to fight with that. There we go. And this goes right here. And there's more tiles that go in there. I think there's just one here. You show a plate here. Yeah, okay. Just just a one by one tile there. Okay. And then we gotta build another one. <laughs> this one's slightly different. I'm assuming it's probably going on that side there. And yeah. And then what we'll do today, after I get done with this and my day job, I'm gonna start working on the Michael Myers house. Start getting that building guide done. I'd like to get that really done as quickly as possible. Because um, I'd like to revisit that project eventually. And the rough building guide, yeah, sure, I can do that, but I have the parts now to make the improved version. <laughs> And that goes there. Not too bad. It looks pretty good, huh? You got a better view of it than I do. Okay, so now we're going to turn our attention to here in this little corner. And it looks like we're building some firewood. Okay, there's some dark brown in there too. So put the dark brown in between the two reddish browns. And then... Oh, is that a new printed part? Oh, Lego. I was expecting one of these log pieces to be printed in that color. How dare you? I thought maybe it would be cool. I should just ding a million points for you to trick me like that. There you go. And this just sits here. I like it when stuff is fixed to the plate. In Minecraft, that would be considered dark oak. There we go, we got some logs there. All right. And yeah, let's, we're gonna go ahead and do bag five. Just so I can wrap up this one section here. This is a pretty interesting build. And that's what we have remaining. So yeah, this is going to be a long installment. Now we're definitely going to stop at bag five. But, but we're going we're gonna to go through with it here. I want to see what we have going here. And almost every bag we've done it has had a minifigure. So but we'll save the minifigures for later. And then, and don't worry, I'll show you the interesting parts when we get to some of them here. Most of the pieces that I'm seeing out of these bags are just kind of pretty common generic parts that I've seen in a bunch of other sets. This one's refusing to open. Somebody called me a weakling on my main channel about I couldn't open up a bag fast enough. Instead of fighting with them and telling them off, I just block them. 
I don't have time for it. Okay, so we'll worry about the figure later. Just need a suitcase, the kitten, or a dog, whatever, and then the figure parts. So we don't care about that. Yeah, I care about working on it now. So let's get started now. Got a lot of reddish brown. Ooh, wow. A 1 by 16 brick and reddish brown. I hope that's not brittle. Okay, I found her head. We'll put her back there. Because we're focusing right here. So right now I'm trying to find some of the stuff now. Yeah, but this is a very interesting set. I may have it all done tonight. I may just film another installment after this one when I get some time. It'd be kind of interesting to do. It's kind of flimsy at the top. You've got to be careful. And found the legs. And this goes right here. And we're focusing in this area over here as well. So everything now at this point will be right in this little corner here. I'm not sure what bag five is going to give us. We have a transparent clear one by two brick. Um, this step here is, of course, there's a lot of parts on the workbench. So I'm having a hard time trying to... Uh, find all the necessary components needed to finish the job up. Some of those are just being stubborn today. Okay. One, 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 one. Okay, we got a bunch of ones. Okay, we got that done. Okay, it looks like this right here is a log that's about to be chopped, huh? And I was going to buy some more of those little one by one. Ooh, sprinkle cookies. Well, these are always yummy during the holidays. Too bad it's only September and the stores don't sell any of those yummy cookies. Oh, make my mouth water leg. I should, I should ding this set off 25 points just because of that. Making my mouth water. Okay. Now you guys and gals know I'm joking. I hope there's nobody taking this seriously. Well, Jay, you're really being hard. Yep. Sorry. Make my mouth water. I have to start subtracting points. Got a lot of big parts right now. I'm just rifling through all the little parts. Little pieces right now. Like, I'm going through literally just tons of bricks and large plates. Okay, I found the suitcase. I'm going to close it. See how it's starting to fatigue at the bottom? When I close these, that's it. I never open these up again. Okay. And I found an ink pen. That probably goes to her. And... I'm still on step 43 right now. I'm looking for a 2x3 plate. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's a 2x4. Do we have a dark brown version of that? A 1x4? That's what it's asking for. Now you got to remember, though, a lot of the Right when I open up a bag, we're literally rifling through parts. And it is a 1x4 dark brown. Oh, there it is. I don't know what this is we're building here. It's like it's something with snow. Maybe it's part of a roof or something. I don't know. It's kind of too early to put a roof on something here. Well, it is a roof. Flip it over. Well, I bet this goes right there. That's exactly where it goes. Well, maybe I'll just stick it in like that. Well, how the hell do you get that in there, huh? All right, you know what I'm going to do? Just pop this out of here? Well, maybe I can't. 
Sorry you can't see it, but I can't even get this in there. And these are a total bitch to snap together. If you've ever tried to put those plates together, like I literally can't even get that in there. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. I guess the, like just a little little roof to keep the plywood dry or the the fake logs. That's kind of a chore, but there it is, it's in. Now we can get to the big stuff now. Am I recording on this too? Yeah, I'll be starting to edit these right away. So I don't want to be kind of caught doing... Boy, this is starting to look pretty cozy inside, huh? In fact, I should just drop the camera down a little bit here. And then give you more of a... Let me refocus. This thing just did something funky. That's why I don't like touching. Once I hit the record, I try to avoid touching the cameras. All right. Now we can start working on... Well, I don't know... Looks like it's a beverage bar, a snack bar. I mean, that's where the sprinkle cookies are at, huh? I'll have to visit there and just throw in my wallet and say, here, take my money. <laughs> I love those little those little sugar cookies. I'll have them at the grocery stores, too, and they're really good. Like the, the sugar cookies with the uh, icing on top and then the sprinkles. Oh, those are, those are really good. It'd be easy if I build it on here first. You notice the further we're going in, the faster it goes as I'm cleaning off a bunch of parts. I may need those sprinkles cookies, huh? This is some kind of an espresso machine. What Lego? No, one by two by two thirds plate with bow. We don't have that in there in black. You had to make me piece it together. What did they use for that? Just the holder. It goes right here. All right, I think it's just this. And then they show the handle. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's three handles on there. So maybe you gotta switch which lever to get the sugar cookies out of the machine, huh? Now you're going to make me dig for more small parts. I do need a bunch of these for spruce trees, so... I'm just going to stick them all on there first, and I'll readjust them later. I mean, I still got a lot of big pieces on the, on the workbench right now. They show it like that. So maybe it's... Maybe it's a espresso machine. I don't know, but I'm getting hungry just looking at all this food parts. They don't really get any food stuff per se. You just have to pretend. So I don't have the plate that goes on the bottom. Oh, now I do. I say salt and pepper shaker, but oh, I found ourselves a little teacup. Maybe that's to put the put whatever we're making in here goes in there. And just looking at this is making me hungry, huh? I don't know about you guys and gals, but okay, the sugar cookies go on the plate. No more sugar cookies, just two. Man, we got the share. So what are we doing when somebody else wants a sugar cookie and there's only just two? Do we have to. Barf one up to give it to the kids. 
All right, we'll set this back in here like that. So you got a better view than I do here. We haven't got to the figure yet. Here's the wig. Okay, now... Yeah, notice it's pretty quiet now. I think everybody kind of dozed off. <laughs> oh, another sticker. I don't know what I did with the sticker sheet, huh? That loser is it in the other building guide? Because now I got to find it because this is some kind of a writing desk found the tour so I think I found all the parts for it. So now I got to stop what I'm doing and find the other building guide see if the sheet is in there remember I had it yeah I see it if I lose it that's my fault now, if I put this on the wrong way, I can just pop off the tile and rotate it. All right. So then we stick the ink pen in the stud. It's supposed to be like a fountain pen, I guess. I don't know, but that barely just stays in there. That's a nice little accessory piece, too. So this is the booking area, I guess. They gotta, you gotta check in. So far, it's starting to look pretty cozy in there. We've only done halfway through the sticker sheet. So this one's not like we're swamped with stickers. Okay. Back to the left. Um, see, now I'm starting to get a little tired, so I know I'm going to be due for a break here because i got to do some work-related stuff. As much as I want to work on this, I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost halfway done. <laughs> you know, this, is not a, this is not a boring build by any means necessary. That just tells you what sets that I'm interested in and which ones I'm not. I mean, so when I do, there was only going to be two installments. I was just planning on three, but when I get wrapped into a build like this, because now I don't want to, I don't want to split up the installments. One that has two bags, one that has three. I could still do that, but you know, may as well just finish it up here. Oh, while we're here, I guess we can put the figure together. Let me make sure she doesn't have any special. Uh, no. So she is probably the one that's going to be take, checking into the hotel, into the Alpine Lodge. Imagine just putting this in my campground with snow-covered terrain. would look really good. There we go. She's got her luggage ready to go. She can sit right here. These two can talk about how miserable the shack is until it's done. It's extra drafty. I guess we're building the, the, the coffee table. Oh, we need that teacup. Teacup, teacap. Remember that show with Chris, Chris Hansen? I saw some old clips of that and I thought, wow, I forgot how those were kind of funny to watch. And you know, still to this day, I've never met anybody online when I'm done, since of all the stuff I've done. There's only one person that watches my videos that I've met, 
And, of course, it's kind of hard because he's family. So, you know, I have never met anybody online. Someday, maybe, but not now. Oh, I'm mostly here to kind of share my ideas. Is that another sprinkle cookie? Do we get more than just that? Indeed we do. I could use those pieces, too. I got a couple of teacups. I like the way they did the sides on that, and this fits right in that opening there. Okay. And we got to build two chairs, and these are pretty unique, actually. These are kind of cool. So what we'll do is we'll just build both of them right now as we're doing this here. Probably need that later on. Jay, you're going to rush through that whole set? No, I'm not going to rush through it. It's just a fun build. I want to build this. See, this is something that, like I said, though, if you're in the city or, or you're in the city builds, this type of stuff here will probably keep your interest like it has with me. I wonder if we're studying the bottom of these. No, oh, indeed we are. This is a nice handy plate for minifigures because they can sit their rear end on there. And before I used to smooth tile everything off, but it doesn't do any good. You can set your figures right on there and it's easy to keep them fixed to the bottom of the seat. And these are like chairs you'd see like in your waiting room. Those big old blocky chairs. That I remember when I was a kid in the doctor's office they were just blocky, 70s or 80s style furnishings. And then you got to stick your arms on there. I would have stuck those round pieces on the back side of that too. So this set's not only got some nice ideas for furniture, but it's also got some good build inspirations too. Well, that just came apart. Be careful with that. I think we said the score still is at a 9.8 because some of the stuff like the, the snowmobile and that chair just came apart a little bit. There are certain things that I'll give, like if I'm just put something in the wrong place and it disintegrates, that's on me. And I think that's it for the chairs. Yep, and they go right on these studs here. Hard to say if this is carpet. But if you get this set and you really want to finish it off, put some hardwood floors in here with some studs for your figures to anchor down. It'll look really good finished off. Okay. Now I know what goes there. I got another set I got to put together after I get done with this one. It's not as, well, from what I can tell in the box, it's not as exciting as this one here. <laughs> so I wanted to do this one because this one looks really fun. So I can't wait to, I really want to play with this. This is probably one I'm going to keep. Okay, now we're going to have to move you out of the way here. You can lay down right there and look at the, look at the LED lamp for a bit. Don't forget your palisade brick up here. Lock that in place. And then... Oh, here's the cat for... Or it could be a dog, too. I don't think the kitties are home. Well... Hope I didn't drop it. And... All right, this thing's in some kind of weird mode. I don't want to touch it, but it's still recording audio. Uh, but I'm almost done with this step here. Now we got to put a bunch of bricks in around the 
the edges here and it could be a little tricky. So back in this corner right here is a one by three and then a one by four goes here. And then we got a palisade brick that goes in this hole here. Did I put that in the wrong area? Yes, I did. All right, let me take a look here. Okay, this thing here is supposed to go even with this mat here. So there's supposed to be a gap there. So don't do what I did. Leave a gap in there because I know somebody will make the same mistake as I did. And stick your palisade brick there. Like I said, this is this is why I do these now because you guys and gals uh, uh, deserve a build through. And sometimes when I make a mistake, I know somebody else will too. And I've been doing this for a long time, but still, you know, let's make mistakes. And then we got to go back to the front again. Okay. And this goes. Huh? Uh, I think we're missing something here. Let me take a look. No, we're not. Okay, what there? Let's start with this. I'm kind of confused here. This goes in right here. Okay, then this goes right here. I thought this went up against this edge here. No, it doesn't. So just stick that there. I was looking at that and I was kind of confused, like where does that go exactly? Now how far does this hang over here? Even with this. So, you know, hey, hey Lego's good, we can make mistakes, right? We didn't glue it together. <laughs> Take it apart and fix your errors pretty easy. It's, it wasn't like that in real life. Okay, and then after that, we run the, okay, this big piece goes right in this notch in here, so you're going to have to probably wiggle that in. I think I'm going to start at that in and just kind of tuck it in this wall here. Start that in, tuck it in, and just work that down in there. So far, it's pretty level there at the top. And then these go here like that. And then we'll tile this top. And look at that. This is looking pretty good. I don't know if the second floor is built right on it or is the second floor detachable. We don't know yet. We haven't gotten that far. We're still trying to wrap up. But I do see the next bag coming up. And maybe the next floor is kind of detached. Okay. That shit fell apart. I got to ding it down a little bit more. This right here is very fragile. It told me to press it down back there, and that's exactly what I did, and yeah, it fell apart. I gotta take it apart. It's dinged down to a 9.5. Remember, all my builds start off at 10s. Lego, you gotta get, you gotta, Lego, you really have to seriously ditch the AI stuff and build the stuff physically. Means have somebody in a room, have them build this as an average builder. Because if I have to stop what I'm doing to fix something that disintegrated, I mean, there's not really much supporting this corner in here. And yes, I do grade hard, guys and gals. I don't, I don't sugarcoat things, except for the sugar cookies that are inside. I mean, we don't want to be walking in here and the thing caves in on us, huh? That would not be friendly at all. And I think, let me bring it back here again so I can look at it at this angle here. Um, it looks like that's it. I have two extra plates. Not sure where those go. So let's backtrack here. Because I'm getting kind of hungry and... Okay, I did make a mistake on the little table inside here. These are supposed to have be on these plates here. I skipped a step. 
like I said, we, we didn't glue anything together, so I, that's my mistake. I make the mistake, I live up to it. I man up to that mistake. That caving in, that wasn't uh, a mistake that I made. Alrighty, we're almost there, folks. Just about there. Got a little bit more left to do. I got that on backwards. Looking at all those sprinkle cookies and stuff, and it kind of makes me want to get something to eat. And I think that's it. So far, the build's not too bad. Pretty pleasant. Just had a few instances of things coming off. That's what we have remaining for bag five. And it's a good place as any to wrap up because now we have bag six through ten, which looks like it does the remainder of the build. So, in addition to all this other stuff that's over here, that's not too bad. And this build is definitely keeping my interest. It is, it's not bright and colorful, but it's got the holiday colors to it. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think of the set. What do you think of it? It's pretty cool. And this one here, it says... Two Pines in. This is the Two Pines and not the Lone Pine. Two Pines. Well, yeah, so far I'm pretty pleased with this.